building and maintaining open lines of communication with the PRC are an important part of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. So this is not all about just uh, U.S. defense and allies and partners. It, it pertains to the uh, types of interactions we have with the PRC as well. So we see that as an important ingredient to, to maintaining peace. Um, look, there are, there are a couple different parts of this. Um, the, when you look at uh, what the Defar department is doing as it relates to the Taiwan Strait, obviously uh, our policy has not changed. Uh, we have uh, maintained our, our uh, consistent behavior under the Taiwan Relations Act, one China policy. Uh, we have a clear objective to maintain the status quo uh, in the Taiwan Strait. Um, we do not support Taiwan independence. Uh, I repeat, we do not support Taiwan independence, uh, which is often uh, a talking point for uh, critics of ours, but it's not true. We want to maintain the status quo. We think that's in the best interests of uh, the entire region. Um, under the Taiwan Relations Act, of course, uh, the United States has a commitment to provide uh, Taiwan with the defensive arms it needs to defend itself. Uh, there is also a part of the Taiwan Relations Act for the United States to maintain its own capacity to resist uh, efforts of, of coercion, and we continue to do that through uh, revisions to our force posture, to the development of uh, new concepts, to the introduction of capabilities through our work with our allies and partners. Uh, and together, uh, where we think we are today, uh, uh, where we're confident that we are today, uh, is that deterrence is real and deterrence is strong. Uh, and that's why you hear department leaders, the secretary, the chairman, Admiral Aquilino, myself, others, saying regularly that we do not believe that conflict across the strait is uh, either uh, inevitable or imminent. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, because we have done all the activities, because we believe that uh, deterrence is real, because of the changes that we're making in terms of our own investments, in terms of our own force posture, in terms of our own concepts, uh, we believe that deterrence is still strong. Uh, and that the uh, costs of uh, conflict for Beijing remain uh, not something that they would be willing to bear, that the costs would remain too high. Uh, and our, co our job is to keep it that way.